Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a super smooth warp shake effect in After Effects. For more shake tutorials, make sure to check out the ones on the channel. You can also get my 16 advanced shake presets from the link in the description. Let's get started. First create a new adjustment layer. Now scroll 30 frames forward by holding shift and pressing page down 3 times, then cut the end of that layer. Next drag the adjustment layer above your second clip, and scroll to the beginning of it. Apply the transform effect to the layer. Click the stopwatch icon next to scale to add a keyframe and set the scale to 60. Then scroll to the end of the layer and change the scale back to 100. Now scroll back to the beginning and apply the optics compensation effect. Check reverse lens distortion, set the field of view to 120, and click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Scroll to the end of the layer and set the field of view to 0. Press U on your keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. Select them all and press F9 to easy ease them. Then go to the graph editor, right click, choose edit speed graph, and create a smooth curve. You can now check what it looks like. The first step is done, now let's add the shake and fix the black edges. But first let's add blurriness, under the transform effect, make sure to uncheck use composition shutter angle, and then increase the shutter angle to 360 to add some motion blur. Now apply the motion tile effect and move it above all other effects, otherwise it won't be applied correctly. Now check mirror edges and set both output width and output height to 150. This will fix the black edges. To add a shake, make sure you're at the beginning of the layer, then click the stopwatch icon next to tile center to add a keyframe. Now hold shift and move the tile center slightly down. Holding shift helps keep the movement straight and linear along the center. Now scroll forward a bit and move the tile center up like in the video. Don't forget to hold shift. Scroll forward again and move the tile center down. Finally go to the end of the layer, right click on tile center, and select reset to restore it. Let's check the final result. That looks great. For more blurriness, make sure to enable motion blur on the adjustment layer, and we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.